This is a free headless horseman head. So why pay $400 for head when I'll show you how to get some for free? First, go to the Roblox Marketplace, of course. Come down here for heads and click on head. You're going to want to click on this one, which is the first one we're going to try out. Now, you might be wondering why the hell it's 75 Robux when I clearly said it'll be free. Like, bruh, I can't even afford it myself. And this is due to Roblox's new update, where every single item in the marketplace can't cost zero Robux anymore. But on the bright side, the cheapest headless cost around 75 Robux which is the equivalent of 94 cents. Comparing that to $400 is pretty much free if you ask me. Anyways, let's buy this joint and I'll show you how worth it this thing is. First things first is to put it on because we ain't buy it just for it to rot in our inventory. And at first it's gonna look like this. But before you call me a fraud, please hear me out first. To fix this, go over to skin tone settings. Come down here to advanced and make sure you change the skin color of only your head. Change it to a color that matches with your hair for me, in this case it's black. Now let's join a game to see if it looks legit. And oh my gosh, man, this thing looks no different than the official headless head. Dude, imagine those kids or parents who paid hundreds of dollars for the official headless just for us to be rocking it for 94 cents. This thing looks so official, I would honestly be so pissed off if I were them. That item was great, but will this one claiming to literally be invisible work just as well? It cost a whole 150 Robux, so I'll try it before you spend this much on it. Oh, that's right, I'm broke, I need to run up my bread, give me a second. All right, there we go. I'll use all this Robux on trying out items for you guys in case some don't work. You don't just waste your Robux. Enough yapping, though. Let's try it out now and see if it's legit. And it does show up on the head section, so that's a green flag unlike other scams, which are labeled as an accessory. Ooh, okay, so far so good, but let's put this joint to the test. It's best to try it out in games, right? Because I assume that's what y'all are gonna do, right? Oh gosh, I think it actually works. It looks as invisible as glass. Oh, what the hell is that, bruh? This is what headless horsemen would look like if Walmart were to sell them. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, right? The only downside about it really is the face. And I'm sure y'all can come up with ideas on how to hide it. Actually, I think it might seem crazy what I'm about to say, but this could really work as a headless head without hair, so hear me out. This is how it looks like without adjusting any settings. Kinda whack, right? Now go over to settings and under the graphics quality set it to somewhere in the middle, just like I'm doing right now. And look at this dude, we really just hacked the system. It looks just like if we were rocking the real headless head and on top of that we don't need hair for this one. Just to be safe, let's see if it works on other games too. Okay. Okay, sweet, and it seems like it does. And I'll warn you, though, that lowering your graphics setting only works on you, so other people will still see the smiling face on your face. So this is what they'll be seeing, and it's 100% up to you if you want to spend 150 Robux on this. Okay, guys, sorry. I just discovered something, but this headless trick doesn't work on those games where your avatar grows thick. How do you call them again? R6 or something, right? And this is another R6 game, just to double confirm it in case y'all like these types of games. This headless trick will be unusable. But something that's usable for all games is this gem. Make sure it's the recolorable version, though. And it's only 94 cents, which is the cheapest possible. Put it on, of course, like always. I'm tired of saying that always. Y'all should know better. And as you can kind of see here, you probably think it's working already, right? Well, if we come back here to the avatar, you can kind of still see the gem. And although it does give an illusion that nothing is there, we can still completely hide the gem. In the marketplace, search up flower messy bun. You're going to want to get any color of hair that's on the first row. Just make sure it says flower messy bun. I'll try on the black one since it matches more with the avatar I got on right now. And as you can see, I look like a bad right now with no head and no father. But let's see if this time this trick will work on R6 games like Blade Ball, for example. Seems okay so far, I think. And yeah, let's go, it actually works. You know what, I'm even feeling super confident in winning this game, so let's kick some ass. Never mind, bro, this game is trash. Let's just move on to the next trick. Which brings us here to our buddy Slime. Like, look at him, isn't he so cute? It's a shame we're gonna get rid of him just like my dad got rid of me. Anyways, that's besides the point. Let's buy him for 94 cents. Take off any face accessories and put it on real quick to see how it naturally looks. Which, like always at first, don't panic and remain calm. It looks green right now, which is my skin color. I doubt your skin color looks green, but if it looks any other color, don't worry, we can still fix it. Like last time, come down here to advanced on skin colors and change the skin color of your head to whatever color hair you have. Now, if you want to go the extra step and make it look better, you can come down here to advanced under hairs and add an extra set of hair to your avatar. All you need to do is copy these numbers of the other hair you want to use and then simply paste it here just like so. If you did everything right, you should end up with something like this. 
We once again got ourselves another completely official headless head-looking trick without overpaying. And this trick doesn't even require lowering down our graphics like the one I showed earlier. So you see it can be the highest level possible and not only will it look like headless for you, but to everyone in the game too. The only downside to this one, I guess, is that your hair is gonna look like a complete bird nest. Actually, you know what? Let's remove the second set of hair and see if we notice any downgrades. Hmm, let's see. I think it honestly looks better, right? Honestly, yeah, I would say so. One set of hair should also work well, but keep in mind you can always use two sets depending on how your avatar looks. Like, come on guys, tell me this genuinely doesn't look legit. Speaking of genuine, if you appreciate and find these tricks useful, please leave a like on the video right now, as well as subscribing to help me hit 4 million subscribers before the year ends. Okay, check this out guys, I found not just one, but three items claiming to be legit headless heads. This sounds and looks super suspicious, so before you go ahead and try it, let me be your test dummy in case I get scammed. But as you can see, I already have the real headless head on this account, because I bought it when it came out, so I'll have to log out and test it out on a new account. Okay, great. Here's my alt account, and as you can see, I don't have Headless Horseman Head here. I'll start off by buying the first one. There we go. And now here for the second one, just like so. Last but not least, let's buy this one and try them out. Here's our items. They look legit, but only one way to find out if they're a scam or not. So this is the first one, and apparently according to this item's description, it only works in games, which is a little suspicious to say. So how about we join a game and see it for ourselves? Damn, bro, why is it so laggy? Well, bad news, guys. The first one turned out to be a complete fraud. As you can clearly see, I'm in game, and according to the description of this thing, it says it should work in games. Like, look, bro, read for yourself. It does say that, right? I know I ain't tripping. Anyways, now let's try out the second item we got that looks similar. We know the first one is fake, so we have hope in the next two to be legit, right? Never mind, bro. I don't even have to say anything for you to know, but just to make it very crystal clear, yeah. This one is fake. Now finally, let's check out the third and last one. Comment right now and guess if it's real or not. If you guess correctly, I'll mail you some Robux and please donate. Just make sure to also comment your Roblox username. Ugh, and just like so, I got scammed by all three items. So please keep in mind that anything that looks like those things that I just bought don't actually work. Like Roblox would not allow that and I get comments of you guys saying you get scammed so I just wanted to put this trick to rest and prove it fake, even if it meant wasting my Robux. The next legit item you need is Evil Heart, just like the heart of the scammers and the heart of my father for abandoning me. Okay, I need to stop making those jokes, sorry. Anyways, cut the yapping and buy this thing, it's only 94 cents, which is the cheapest possible. And here it is, go ahead and equip it just like so. Like always, we of course have to test it out for ourselves if it works or not. So what do you think? Pretty cool, right? Although for the guy avatar, this one is more of an illusion, unless you want to try putting on two sets of hairs. For the girl version, put on the evil heart head, and then you'll need a specific set of hair for it to work. If you've been paying attention, we actually used this hair earlier, it's called the flower messy bun. On this occasion though, I recommend using the black one. For reference, this is the girl avatar in the exact same game I was before with the boy avatar. As you can see, it looks really good. People will definitely think you got bread to spend $400 on it. Oh, I forgot, and you even get the neck thing the real headless head gives. So that's also a bonus. If you're still planning on rocking a girl avatar, get these bat wings. They're also the cheapest price possible, so it's definitely worth it in case you want to have backups if others get deleted. So let's see how it compares to the evil heart head I showed just before this one. Yup, and there we go. Looks just as good and legit. It actually looks so believable that I challenge a comment to point out one single flaw in it and I'll give them 1,000 Robux. And to prove to you guys that I'm using the item I showed, here is the list of items that my avatar is currently wearing. This one here being the bat wings as you can see in the picture. I'll also take off my set of hair to show that behind that is the wings. This bat head is pretty much the same as the wings too. You can go ahead and get this one as an alternative, so I'd just like to mention it in case you happen to need it. Let's reset character real quick and see if we notice any difference. Like in my opinion, it looks exactly the same. I didn't even notice a change at all. Our next item is ink. Guys, I know ink is really messy, but trust me, this one is okay to work with, so go ahead and get it. 
Now, unfortunately for this one to work, your hair color must be black. All jokes aside, isn't it crazy how easy you're able to get these headless heads nowadays? I know I said this line a million times already, but this legit looks like the real headless horseman. But just full disclaimer, like I said earlier, this specific item won't work with other color hairs besides black. So keep that in mind. Unless you like how this looks, then you just do whatever you like, I guess. This little guy here, or rather big fella, I should say, caught my attention. His name is Belly Tummy. As you can see, he is pretty unique and different, to say the least, and I came up with a bright idea that might just work. He's a character bundle, which makes him a bit more expensive. So before you decide to get him, watch me try him out first to make up your mind if he's worth it or not. Oh gosh, dude, why is he naked? I don't even want to know. Anyways, bruh, let's ignore that first thing. We have to scale him down a bit, because not gonna lie, he is low-key a giant. Okay, that should be decent enough for now, although he do be looking a bit thick still, but it's all right. Classic clothes don't fit him, but it's fine since we can use layered clothing to recreate my avatar. We can even put on some shoes, too. Here we go, though, moment of truth. Will the layered shirt be enough to cover the head and give us fake headless head? Oh, what the heck? It worked? No way, Jose! It do be looking a little bit goofy, though, but maybe it looks good in-game, so let's try it out before judging a book by its cover. This would be insane if we pulled it off, though, so let's hope it works. Ah, bruh. And we had to spawn in a place that we can't even see the avatar. This is adding more to the mystery. Anyways, let's see here. Oh, it's working right? Oh, heck no, dude! What is that? Get that out of here! How about we remove the default head this character comes with and instead equip one of the heads I showed earlier in the video? I mean, theoretically, it should work, right? No way it actually does work, dude. That's crazy. Not gonna lie, though. My fit kinda does look a bit goofy, but if y'all are good with character customizations, then I'd recommend getting this bundle if you really wanna rock a headless head. And another thing to note about this character is that you can't change its run animation. I just tried changing it, and it's staying on default. In my personal opinion, I'd give this character bundle a 7 out of 10 rating, just because, like I said, my character does look a bit goofy, but I do see a lot of potential for other avatars. So you know this neck thing that you get when you're wearing the official Headless Horseman? Well, someone actually made it into a head and they actually titled it Neck Thing, isn't that funny? It's 99 Robux though, so let me try it out first. If it ends up working, this is going to be sensational. Oh heck no, dude, what is this? This is the Neck Thing if you ordered it from AliExpress or on Wish. What happens if I remove the hair? Will it make it any better? Oh yeah, bruh, this ain't it, chief. This Loki reminds me of a bald egg. Will making the head small improve it, though? Let's see. Oh, yeah. That answers it. That pretty much does nothing at all. I also know that some tricks are exclusive for R6 games, so let's test it out on Blade Ball. <laughs> Do I even have to say anything at this point? This next item actually works, though. It's called Jelly Half Head, and it's available to get for the cheapest possible, too. Oh, I haven't even asked y'all yet, but what are your thoughts on Roblox removing zero Robux items? Let me know in the comments. Also, an important tip for this item is that it will only work with black hair since it's not recolorable. Look at how crazy good this looks, man. I've seen so many headless tricks already, and I'm still surprised on how good these things actually are. Not gonna lie, guys, I found a little flaw here. If you look closely, you can kind of see something black, so let's test it out in-game if it's good enough to use or not. Dude, I've been walking around here for a bit, testing it out, and honestly, I don't really see anything that could expose me as a fake. Matter of fact, I would go as far to say that this trick is better than some of the ones I've shown earlier in the video. And to prove it, I'll ask this bacon if he thinks it's fake or real. If he answers correctly, I'll give him some Robux, but I doubt he'll notice it's fake. Look at him, bruh. He's taking so long to answer because he can't figure out if it's real or fake, because it looks too good. I don't speak English. Sorry. Bro, what do you mean you don't speak English? You're talking English right now. Whatever. Let's just give him some Robux for being a bacon. He seems kind of cool anyways, right? All that aside, I give this item a solid 8 out of 10. The reason it's not higher is because it's only exclusive for people with black hair like I mentioned before. Oh, nah, the bacon turned sus and started calling me handsome. I think it's time for me to dip. Do you guys remember these two bad items that I covered earlier in the video? Well, I hope you do, because I found this other item that is just like that and even better since it's recolorable, meaning you can use any color hair you'd like besides black. Now, I won't actually try this one out again since we already know it works, but this one down here just caught my attention. And it also happens to be recolorable, which has massive potential, so only one way to see if it actually works. Oh, that's right, I'm broke again. And if you're wondering where the Robux I bought at the beginning went, well, this clip explains it.
I'm so going broke, so please like the video to make this all worth it. Whatever, man, I hope this item turns out to be good. When first putting it on, it's going to be your skin color, so make sure to go to Skin Tone Settings, down to Advanced Settings, and only changing the head's color to whatever hair color you use. Okay, so I kind of feel a little bit scammed here because it said it's recolorable, but as you can see, the edges are white, which makes blending this head into your hair a bit hard. But I guess it's a good learning experience to keep in mind when buying recolorable items, I guess. Actually, I think if we use a girl avatar and then go ahead and put on the right type of hair on it, we might actually save this item. Here's the hair type we've used a million times in the video now, so it's definitely a good purchase to have since it's reliable with a lot of items. Just watch this. I bet it's going to turn this item's purchase into a W. And there you go, I just knew it! Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on because I always stand on business when it comes to knowing about the best headless tricks.